problems of perspective. Now we're going to take a look here in the the grand atrium. This is a huge installation titled The Happy End of Franz Kafka's America. This must be German TV here. This is why I need an intern here. One that knows how to drive. Oh, this is one of the very large installations that Kippenberg was working on towards the end of his career. This is the first major exhibition by Kippenberger and it originated the Los Angeles Museum of Art. As you can see, each one of these areas has got a little numbered placard on there. I can't tell you what it all means. <laughs> I guess you could say that a lot of this work is a veiled critique of middle class, I hate to use the word, bourgeois, German life or American life. I think that's, that's what this is. This is interesting. So we've got a couple of slide projectors here with mirrors reflecting the images down onto this book. Oh, looks like we've got some kind of uh, internal organs in these jars. <laughs> And now we're speaking with Ulrich Strath Johan, who is um, one of the longtime collaborators with uh, Martin Kippenberger. And, and did you actually help install this exhibition here? Yes. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your time with him and what you did when you were working for him and uh, some of the projects you're involved with? Yeah, I'm quite uh, involved in all uh, sculptures projects and since at lifetime of Kippenberger since uh, the mid 80s. Since the mid 80s. And, um, so I'm a kind of assistant, but not uh, this uh, assistant as uh, you know today. Artists have some, if they are uh, successful, they have five or ten or even twenty right. assistants working every day and doing the works. Kittenberger was more interested in uh, uh, his personal uh, relationship to uh, his assistant. And, uh, so you're more like a collaborator? A kind of collaborator, yes. And he was interested in different skills from different assistants and he didn't take care so much of uh, really well done work or not so well done. It should be uh, the personal attitude of the assistant should be inside the work. Well, that's good. So he was just sort of enlisting a lot of people and getting them to work on his projects and but was allowing them to still be artists in their own right in a way. Yes, in a kind of that. Um, but he was not just uh, searching for assistance, it was more accidentally going on that in his uh, near, uh, how do you say, how would say? His practice. <laughs> yeah, in his practice, he uh, you meet him and uh, um, he was interested in you because you had some good ideas and and he could uh, put you to work, get yeah, you involved in his projects. Yeah, and he get you involved in his own projects. Why, why don't you tell me why why you think that uh, Kippenberger is important and why he's relevant to a lot of young artists working today? I think one of the uh, uh, important things is that he is really an artist for artists and um, not just for the art market as a lot of artists are working today. They try to establish a certain manner of working and then if, if they are successful with it they go on and on with it. They just become a Kippenberg, corporation and Yeah, and Kippenberg was more product. interesting in changing himself all the time even if that he knows that 
you can't change your personality. I also like his, uh, and I enjoy his sense of humor, and it strikes me as a very kind of a Dadaist, yeah, he has funny, a lot of tricky sense of approaching yeah, art. That's right, Kippenberger had a lot of humor, but on the other hand, um, he was not just, it was not just only humor. So right. it was uh, serious thinking behind that. That's right, just he was able hidden, to just hide hidden. it right behind the humor. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much, Ulrich Strach-Johan. Yes, thanks. All right, thank you. We're upstairs at the sixth floor galleries here. This installation is Spider-Man Studios. Wood glass, plexiglass, metal, oil paintings, and vodka bottles. This piece is titled Martin Into the Corner. You should be ashamed of yourself. Cast aluminum clothing and iron plate. It's a very nice wood construction. Now this installation is titled Now I'm going into the big birch wood. My pills will start soon start doing me good. And what we've got are pipes with looks like digital photographs of birch bark installed on them. Uh, and on the ground we've got carved wooden tablets. Very large ones. Alka-Seltzer. Kippenberger was an artist that had a lot of people working for him, especially with the creation of his objects and things. This is a very uh, large and impressive show. And I would say, aside from Gerhard Richter, that Martin Kippenberger might be the most uh, highly recognized and appreciated German artist that's out there right now. And even though he's at this point has been dead for 10 years, I think his reputation is still growing. And I think he has a new relevance to a bunch of artists that are doing the kind of pathetic or abject art. Oh, this is gonna be all over German TV. An interesting surface treatment on this. Oh, this is where he keeps all of his paintings in the vault. This group of photorealistic pieces are from a series called Mahler Maltmeer, Painter Paint Me. We're going to come back for another edition on this show, folks, so stay tuned.